This is a Luna Lexan 570, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got your jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake. We'll demonstrate these to you in person here on site. Front locker locks down, as you can see it lifts up and over to get it out of the way. So where you've got the marks on the uh, front floor, you cannot put anything in that area because these arms will hit on anything that's in that area at all. So just where the yellow, where the yellow tape is, that side you find and this side you find to have accessories in. In the front locker you've got your two gas bottle tie downs which are very simply there to allow you uh, to tie down your gas bottles. And on the bulkhead you've got your gas regulator and the gas pipe work coming into the front of the bottle. Is a reverse thread fitment that comes into the front of the bottle, that gold pipe work, or that gold pipe you can see there. Um, so you have to turn it the opposite way to a standard fit, um, standard screw, essentially, to uh, release the fitting. You've then got your open and close on top, which is a gap open is gas on, and closed is gas off. Coming down the side of the caravan, you've got your heating and hot water flue, which you see just here. You have to leave this open at all times, you never cover this up at all. Um, don't need to do anything with it, it's just a bit like the flue on the side of your house. On the side of the van, you've got then you sorry, you haven't got your wind down legs, you've got your electric legs, which I'll demonstrate while you're here on site as well. You've then got your water pump connection, which is a blue trigger here. You pull the blue trigger back and release it from the side of the caravan, and you'll push it in and lock it in place, as you can see here. The pump itself drops down inside the aperture, and that will allow the water to be picked up from inside the van. Leisure battery in the side of the van and your mains power lead coming into the side of the caravan as well from the power on site. Then back there, you also see a red key which is the motor power switch. You've then got your two fridge vents, two fridge vents are very simply there to allow the fridge to to the bottom one or the kick out some hot air vents and also take some cool air in. And then behind the top one there, you've also got your gas flue for when you're running the fridge on gas. Motor mover and wheel nuts will demonstrate the motor mover to you here on site and we'll also talk the wheel nuts to the correct center. The fresh water that goes in the front of the caravan has to come out somewhere and that's what these two great flaps are for down here. So these will allow the waste water out of the caravan um, into the waste master that sits just down on the floor down here. We'll have two bits of great pipe that go into these large diameter holes and that will drop, that's the pipe that will drop into the uh, waste master. Then got your storage locker on the side of the caravan. Coming to the back of the caravan, you'll see your toilet flush tank. So you'll open this up and you'll put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. Then in the bottom, you'll have your toilet waste cassette itself, which you'll release by pulling up the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The orange neck here turns out 90 degrees to tip the waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and your blue fluid. So you need to put one litre of water in here and a cap full of the blue fluid. On the back of the cassette there, you've got an orange pressure relief button, so you can press that in when you're tipping the waste away so it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. The back of the van again, you've got your wind down legs to stabilize, uh, the, the electric legs, sorry, to stabilize the caravan. Then you've got your storage locker from underneath the rear uh, for the bunk or for the bed on the right, left-hand side of the van. At the front here, you've got a storage locker uh, where you can put wet items in when you're away, and then you've got a three-pin plug so you can have power coming out to your awning. Coming onto the inside of the caravan now. So as you come in the door, above the caravan, uh, above the door of the caravan, you'll see your master power switch. You need to turn the power on here. So as you see, power off and power on. You've then got your internal lighting with a roof, water pump run, which I'll come back to in a moment. You've then got your external light for your awning, and then you've got your battery level voltage, which will tell you how much battery you've got on board the caravan. Um, then you've got your arrow here. That allows you to go through the different options on board the caravan for, uh, and set the time as you can see, which we'll just set now. So once you've got all this control panel turned on and it's ready to go, we'll come and uh, we'll go to every tap on board the caravan and open them all up on the hot side of the water system so we can start bleeding the water system. As you see, I've already filled the system up so there's already water in it, but you'll go to every tap on board the caravan and open them all up on the hot side. You'll then come underneath the seat on the front right hand side of the caravan and underneath here you will find your yellow drain down valve. That yellow drain down valve is to fill and drain down the water system on board the caravan so basically does, it says, does as it says on the tin. So when it's flat with the floor as it is at the moment, oh, as it is at the moment, you'll be able to fill the water system up and if that was pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat all of the water in the water system on board the van would drain onto the floor underneath. So once that valve is flat with the floor, we can come over to the main control panel. 
and we can turn on the water pump just here. And when the water system is full, you'll have water running out of every tap on board the caravan continuously. Once you've got water running out of every tap on board the caravan, you can shut all of the taps back off and you'll be able to start heating the water through the Truma control panel. So to do this, you'll press the central button to turn the control panel on and then you'll go into your options. So here on the left hand side we have our room temperature, so we're going to hit the button here, then select the room temperature, so we'll spin the dial right or left to control that, and to set it you'll very simply go to the temperature you want it to be, so for instance 20 degrees, hit the central button again and that'll be your heating and hot water set. Once you're back on this screen again, you've got the icon flashing on the top left hand side here, you can come over to your water by spinning the dial left or right, hit the central button, and it will take you into your hot water option. So you've either got hot water off, eco, which is the lowest setting, hot, or boost for when you're showering on board the caravan. Again, to set your water temperature, you'll have the central button, and you'll press the central button in to set the water temperature. And as you can see here at the top, it's saying hot, and that is what it's going to warm up to. Just going to turn that off for now. The next option across here is the power source you want to use for powering the heating and hot water. So you've got gas on its own. Again, to select each of these, you spin the dial. Gas, mix one, which is 1,000 watts of electric and gas at the same time. Mix two, which is 2,000 watts of electric and gas at the same time. Electric one, 1,000 watts of electric on its own. And electric two, 2,000 watts of electric on its own. To set any of these, you're going to press the central button um, and it will set the power source. If you're on a site with low power, then you may need to use the combination, so the mix one or mix two. But essentially, depending on what site you're on, will depend on whether you put it onto one or two kilowatts of power. Um, and if you ask your site office when you arrive on your holiday, they will be able to advise you of what to set this to. You'll press the central button again to go into the blown air option, so you've got eco or high on this particular van. So you've got your fan speed high, a bit like you've got in your car. You'll select the fan speed and then the heat. Once it's warmed up, we'll start coming out the little yellowy colour vents around the caravan as the caravan warms up. It will take longer for the heat, heating system to warm up if it is on blown air, as obviously it will be cooling the air as it is blown around the van. On the bottom of the screen here, you have three other options. And for these, we do advise you read the manual that comes with the caravan. Um, as if I tried to take you through them in the video, it could take me two to three hours to complete. There's quite a bit of in-depth reading to do there on that system. On the screen now, when it comes back to its home screen, you'll have your time um, and then your temperature internally in the caravan. You can then go to your fridge to operate the fridge system. Very simple to do. You've got mains power on or power on, sorry, should I say. The first symbol you're going to see lit up here is your 240 volt coming into the caravan from the caravan site you are on. So when you're on 240 volt, you can control the fridge temperature with this button on the right hand side. The higher you go with these blocks, the colder the fridge will be. We're going to press the gas option here next and the fridge will self ignite on gas if you have a gas bottle connected. And if it fails to ignite, it'll actually flash the red warning triangle on the right hand side here to indicate the fridge has failed to ignite. Again, on gas, you can use the button here to control the fridge temperature. The gas option here, uh, the gas light here will also flash if it fails to ignite on gas. But if this is solid blue, as it is at the moment, it means it has ignited and it is working as it should. The next option we're going to come to is the 12 volt mode when you're towing down the road. Essentially, this will turn the fridge into a cool box for when you are traveling. It will only work when you have the, the car connected to the 12 volt supply or the car, the car connected to the caravan through the 13 pin plug and you have 13 pin watt plug wired up correctly on your car. It will allow the fridge to work as a cool box. Like I said, it is only a cool box and it will not work solely off the 12 volt supply on board the caravan. When you're on 12 volt mode, you won't have a temperature control on this side to allow you to chill, change the fridge temperature. Microwave is an eco microwave, so to get that to work, you need to press the eco button on the right hand side here and it will light this screen up as you can see. Hob, micro, uh, hob grill, and oven all work very much the same as your household appliances. You just need to remember if you're not on a mains powered site, then your 240 electric ring will not work on top of the hob. It will only work if you've got mains power from the site you are on. 
Last thing we're going to go through in the bathroom on this one. Uh, last thing we're going to go through on this particular van is the toilet system in the bathroom. Electric flush on the toilet, which allows the toilet system to flush. You've got a red indicator light here that illuminates red when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. The toilet seat itself turns for your convenience, as you can see. And if you want to remove the toilet waste cassette from underneath the caravan, you'll need to make sure this flap here is back in the central position as it is now. However, when you're using the toilet, you'll need to have it pushed over into this right-hand position so it allows the waste into the cassette under the van. Or in the side of the van, should I say. The toilet seat will also need to be in the central position when you try to remove the toilet waste cassette from underneath or from the inside of the caravan. If it is turned at all, it will lock the toilet waste cassette in place so it can't be used while the toilet uh, so the toilet cassette can't be removed while the toilet is being used. So that is the Luna Lexan 570. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company and we'll be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.